Greetings. Today I'm going to show you some basic configuration settings for Rapid Raid. Uh, this is a part of a multi video tutorial series where we will go into more and more information about Rapid Raid. But first, I want to orient you on the admin settings that are available. First, you go to admin, and Rapid Raid settings are in a couple of different locations. One of them is in the members area where you have merge character DKP. Um, this probably wouldn't be used in an initial setup, but this would allow you to take one character's DKP and transfer it to another character. Another option is recover character and DKP. What this allows you to do is recover the DKP for a character that at some point has left your guild. Uh, this could be because they left and have come back. Um, for any other number of reasons. Other settings that are pertinent to Rapid Raid in the admin area is on the content tab. At the very bottom you can choose to use a standard DKP setup or an EPGP setup. Um, this puts Rapid Raid in two uh, different modes. One that's a standard DKP where the people get earned and they spend their DKP, and the difference between earned and spent is their current DKP. And then EPGP, which actually uses uh, essentially a, ra a ratio of effort, which is earned, or which is somewhat equivalent to earned, to how much gear they've gotten, and that gives them a priority number. Uh, you can find out more about those options on the internet and uh, a number of places. Also in the content area, there is Rapid Raid Settings. Uh, this is where you can do general config. Um, the first option is Display Decimals. Uh, this is the number of decimal places that will be shown on the member list and the Character DKP tab. Um, this can be set to whatever you'd like. Um, typical numbers would be 0 or 2. Uh, if you're running a standard DKP system, many times you won't have any decimals, so you can set it to zero. The default is two. There's also minimum settings. Uh, minimums allows you to uh, set a threshold for the members list where there's a primary members list at the top and then people who don't meet certain minimums. Maybe people need a, a certain amount of DKP to even bid, so you can put them in a separate list until they achieve that. The third section is e EPGP specific settings, and this is a, a base GP setting. You could read about that on the EPGP site as well. But what it does is only allows GP to decay to a certain point, and then it stops the visual and the calculated decay uh, so that their priority doesn't keep climbing as GP is decayed. The other option is DKP pools. Um, pools are completely independent and separate groups of DKP. Um, you can give them a name, and then you could create one for 25 mans, one for 10 mans, however you'd want to set it up. You could even set them up uh, per instance. So you could have one for Karazhan, or um, one for multi core or maybe a, a no DKP setting where you just want to track information about the raids, you could then set up a pool for those no DKP. DKP. Um, there's also some update options here and the ability to delete a pool. And then there's eligible dates. Um, this isn't used so much, but it would allow you to set the starting date that a character was eligible. Um, there's some reports that calculate attendance for a, a user based on when they became eligible. And that's pretty much all of the admin options. Um, this would allow you to configure essentially the starting state of your guild um, rapid rate system. They can be adjusted at any time and uh, some of them are retroactive, some of them are not. Um, typically DKP will not be modified by settings in admin, uh, except for in things like merge, DKP. So you're 
fairly free to change these settings. In addition, the general config settings are pool specific. If you have multiple pools, you can set these options per pool. And uh, that pretty much covers the admin settings. Thank you.